What's up everybody welcome back to another video so in today's video um i install my budget budget clutch max stage 2 uh clutch kit on to my k20z3 what is going on to what, what is going into the integra i also replaced a couple seals so i documented that and i recorded that as well further ado let's jump right into the video So I apologize for not recording, but uh, we got it out and it took me a while as you can see it had some backed up oil in there But essentially what I did since I don't have the tool. Um, I just pretty much drove a nail in there And then uh, essentially all I did was just pull it out and uh, it took some effort and it took quite some persuasion on drilling this out but at the end, I was able to do it since it's, I'm not sure if it's old or not, but it's obviously these seals, oil seals are really, really strong. So I was actually grilling through what seemed like plies of metal in there. But yeah, nonetheless, made a little mess coming out, nothing too big. Go ahead and clean a little bit of that out and slapped the new seal in. I apologize once again for not recording, but yeah, that was a good method of removing your uh, seal. Here we have the seal right there. Let's see, part number right there. Um, hopefully, it should work. The knife is a little dull, but it still works. Right there. Let's close. Quick little comparison with the old one. Pretty spot on, if you guys can see. And then I'm going to try my best to use. The old one pretty much just to drive it in might have to get a mallet or something so yeah I'm just not sure I've never done this before but putting a little bit of the oil around around it just to kind of help it seal up or lubricate essentially it's already oil in there but yeah hopefully you should have just a light little bit of it I'll go ahead and grab a mallet so here we go I'm so mad if you can see my mallets all this drawer because back when I used to work uh, for Ford in a shop I guess my foreman when I was in there he just opened my toolbox and will use my tools and it's kind of annoying but I guess whatever guys it is up a little bit I wanted it splattering on me And I've never done this like I said I've seen some videos but I went ahead and just turned it around that way is the flat surface actually hitting against it and uh, as you guys can see it's you see it's not as bad you can see so it's already there so main seal it's replaced so golden I still have to do the other side or the harmonic balancer is that about to replace that one right there that is a filter assembly VTC have it right over here this is a part number i got this from acura parts warehouse or honda parts now um something like that i'll probably link it up here for you guys i tried to get this one but it was on back order so for right now i'm gonna leave that one the way it is all right so we got the new one in went ahead and cleaned it out with some brake cleaner you can see right there at the back clean around the hole a little bit make sure there's no debris in there we got the old one here it's dry rotted it was a little pain to take out how to make a hole inside and pull it out but nonetheless i'm glad i'm replacing it it is full of little stuff nothing major i think it's just debris that got attached to it when i was taking it out but i'll you know, put it back over here it does not require no bond or silicon because it does have a seal to it and two 10 millimeters all right so i did my best to take the pilot bearing off I, um, I did install the new one in there as you can see it's not the one from the kit because I don't know I just noticed that the one from the kits a little bit 
loose on my I don't know, this is my opinion so I had to store one from my competition clutch one so I went ahead and installed it it is flush and good in there um, I didn't want to do the bread method I don't do I do not have a special tool as well let me see if I can find the actual pilot bearing itself where did I put it so I can show you guys but it came out bad uh, it took a lot of persuasion a lot of persuasion um, where did I put that pilot bearing oh, okay so here it is final results I tried everything to take it out mine is uh, the bread method uh, I didn't want to waste bread doing it that way but I'm pretty sure that would have been a simpler way I just pretty much hammered it and I did not scratch anything in there I was really careful until a came out and I was able to bend it out so yeah that's one way to do it but yeah so we're good back on track new seal as you guys saw cleaning out the threads a little bit so we can put the flywheel in to bite the bullet I am going to be using the clutch max heavy uh, flywheel um, I mean it's a little bit heavier than stock it is rated at stock so it's like 15 point something um, so yeah I could not find for the life of me a machine shop near me or a machine shop that will actually pick up their phone so if you guys are local to my area and know of a good machine shop please let me know that way I can send my other ones in to get resurfaced so I can later use them for some future projects and who knows I might even take this one out and replace it with one of them because I do have an Xeti flywheel or light wheel one very 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 good it's about 9 to 10 pounds and then I do have a Z3 stock one as well Okay, so we got the flywheel here, this big sucker. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of devastated. I don't want to use it because it is heavier. Uh, it is what it says, 15 point something. It is heavy. So I will be sacrificing on my first two gears um, on those reps. But hey, um, I can't find a machine shop. I want to keep this budget as possible. So I'm going to be using what it came with. And also it's a good review option for you guys to show you guys that this is part of the kit that you know, everything does work like it's supposed to. So you take it out the plastic, give a little clean with some brake cleaner, and then um, we can start putting this in. Cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. As you can see, you got all that oil in there from the packing to keep it from rusting. We're going to clean that right up and then we're going to put it in. You guys can see the dirtiness. You guys, a website that I use to do all my torques on my uh, engines when I'm assembling, doing my stuff. A little bit that I'd be doing it here and there. Um, awesome website. It will help you guys a lot, especially if you guys who are beginners and know and, and learning like I am as well, because I'm always constantly learning. I'm also going to be putting my little threat locks on the side. Obviously, you got the blue and the red. Uh, red, I mean, blue being high strength, and then obviously the red being less. So those are going to be for the pressure plate bolts, as you guys can see. Uh, when it comes to using uh, torque wrenches, I suck at them for some reason. I dial them in, and, and then they just go beyond, and I've had issues where they snap my bolts. But we're going to give it another try. We're going to see. We're going to set it um, perfectly. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be perfectly. And then I'll be putting here the torque specs for the flywheel bolts as well. And remember, when you're installing this, do not use automatic flywheel bolts. They're a lot shorter than the manual. All right, so I got my uh, torque wrench here. Um, I have it set to 87 foot-pounds of torque. That's what the uh, manual or the page calls for, which is going uh, off a uh, OEM standard. So I hope this is ready to go so we're going to be using a 17 millimeter this is a 12 point this is the only one that i have that's uh a half uh, i do have one shorter that's a 17 12 point but it's for a 3 8 so i'm just going to use this because i don't want to use no adapters or anything so 
I'm gonna use this for right now. And I might have had it backwards, I'm not sure, but uh, the blue one is medium strength, the red one's high strength. So make sure I got that out of the way because I'm not sure if I set it right, but I do have this little pasty one here, so we're gonna dab a little bit our bolts, the threads, get a little bit of that in there. I'm not looking to put a lot. I think that's a lot right there to begin with, to be honest, but it's fine. I'm gonna put a little bit in, a little bit of that in there. That's one. And we're gonna be re repeating this process for all. <laughs> everything because it cut out but essentially I number them that way when they did move um, it was easier for me to see I did torque them down to 87 foot pounds foot pounds of torque the way with the um, TM or the page calls for OEM standards I did improvise and did this so I don't have to have somebody help me because I don't have anybody to help me right now so I uh, was able to hold without no issues I could not figure out or have a way to use the wrench method like I've seen people do. I know they have a tool for it, like I was saying, but I don't have it. Um, so hopefully everything's good. I am going to spin it a little bit, make sure it's okay. I did check the retwork on all eight of them. Everything was good. So we're gonna call this a success and a win. So yeah. time to install the pressure plate. Uh, when it comes to pressure plate, um, it's kind of annoying because I know like stock, um, you know, they require you to do five, 10, 14, then 19, so four sets. Uh, until you reach 19 uh, foot pounds of torque. I've seen people just put them on and just give them that one torque and then that's it. But I don't know for the EG, this is how I did it. Everything worked out perfectly fine. And I'm just following, like I said, that page that I um, posted for you guys up there. Um, so let's get right into it. product I didn't want to bore you with all the steps um, I did take a, I did take a while to figure out um, my torque wrench when I was going up it was really delicate because it was five pounds then 10 and then 14 and then 20 
I might have rounded off to 20, um, if not, not mistaken, maybe 21 or 22 overall when everything was said and done. But nonetheless, everything in it is uh, torqued down to spec. Um, essentially, that's the same thing I did with the ED. So I'm praying and hoping everything goes well. Um, you know, I personally, when I do my own work, uh, I always feel skeptical, but that's the only way you're going to learn. So um, hope everything's good. So let's uh, shuck right along. Okay, right along, uh, concluding the video, I went ahead and wrote down all my specs and torque sequence right on my uh, board, little cardboard that all this came with. Um, we do have a Clutch Max Stage 2 in here. Um, everything, you know, went well, given that I did not have anybody to help me and how to improvise doing this. I know I have seen the wrench method, but um, couldn't figure it out. So, I mean, that's essentially how I did the EG. Everything went well. Um, hoping and praying everything um, is perfectly fine. Uh, something that I do want to annotate and let you guys know for the Clutch Max, this little... Um, bearing kit the little I guess you can say the little pilot um, guide whatever to put the pilot bearing um, it was kind of like flopping everywhere so I just went ahead and tossed that out I had a spare one here that I saved from my clutch uh, competition clutch and this was golden it was perfectly fine so this is the extra one that it brought I noticed it was really really floppy I don't know I just noticed it was too big um, didn't really measure it so and ended up uh, inserting the one that I had, the extra one from the competition clutch, because essentially what I did, I just bought a stock one and replaced it. It was a pain in the butt to take a, uh, take out and do the bread method, because I don't do not want to waste any food. But nonetheless, we got it in there. Everything is aligned and perfect. So I'm praying, hoping everything is torqued perfectly fine. I always have a bad luck with torque wrenches. I've broken many bolts. I destroy many of my stuff um, but yeah hopefully that's how you learn and hopefully everything's fine so this is going to conclude the video you guys thank you guys for watching I see you guys on the next video make sure to comment like and subscribe and I'm going to give you guys posted on you know how well this Flush Max does <laughs>